All right, let's do our warm ups and just take care of our poor little necks today. So, toes straight ahead, knees going towards your second toe, getting everything lined up. Get that core active, ribs towards your spine and up. Feel that lengthening through your spine. Bring your shoulders back and down and reach your head toward the ceiling. Take a moment just breathing, drawing in energy and awareness all the way to the lowest part of your lungs. Exhale, stress and tension. Move your jaw around. Start releasing things. And breathe. And then inhale, arms to shoulder level. Stretch those fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Elbows back. Keep that heart open. Inhale out to the front and keep your shoulders still down. Bring your hands behind you, clasp the fingers together just gently and then press them down as you lift your heart, head stretching back. Exhale, pivot at your hips coming over. Bring your arms up toward your head. Get that shoulder area moving around a little bit. And then circle your chin both ways. Just start releasing the back of your neck. Knees slightly bent, start at the bottom of your spine, just wind your way back slowly up. And again, lift your heart, stretch your head back, drop those shoulders, spread your toes out. Don't forget to breathe. And then inhale to the top, release your arms. Take a moment, just feeling the circulation increase a little bit. And we'll do the same thing, arms reaching out, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front and clasp your hands the other way behind you. Hands toward the floor, heart up, stretch your head back, and then pivot over. And just relax into your forward position as deeply as you'd like. Again, releasing that chin area, neck area, and slowly work your way back up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and stretch your whole spine. Keep breathing and just relax. Inhale to the top, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling what's going on for you. Stretching our sides next, bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass them and clasp and straighten your arms. Bring them next to your ears. Stretch everything nice and straight. And lean over to one side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Keep that shoulder still going down towards your waist. And reach out through your head and your fingers. Feel that side open a little bit more. Inhale back up. Switch your other arm, keeping your shoulders still down. And again, lean without twisting to the opposite side. Open the ribs as you push the foot down and the hands away. Relax through the shoulder. Keep breathing. And then inhale back upright and release. Circle those shoulders around. And relax back into mountain pose. Take a moment, feeling your shoulders, your sides, spread your toes out, and arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, spread your spine apart for a twist, and exhale, turn to one side, a breath in, and then weight on both feet evenly as you come all the way over. Arms next to your ears, Pull that body and close to your leg, but keep the light weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And then stay in your twist. Keep your arms by your ears. Work your way up. Lift your heart. Drop your shoulders. Pull your elbows slightly back as you look slightly up toward the ceiling. But remember, don't lift the chin too high. Inhale up. Exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, stretch that spine apart to open and twist to the other side. Take a breath. Weight on both feet evenly as you come all the way over. Spread your toes, lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears. Just feel your body breathing with it. 
Not an inhalation, <clears throat> work your way back up, lift your heart, pull your elbows back, and your shoulders down. Take a breath and relax. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center. Lift your arms, but keep your shoulders, shoulder blades down. Make sure nothing is punching up through your shoulders, extending them. Sink evenly into your feet. Keep that core active, supporting your spine. And don't forget to breathe. Stretch up through your head, through your fingertips, down with the shoulders. And then pivot over and drop all the way into ragdoll. Move those shoulders around as you come into that forward position. Just circling them, releasing any tension. Slide your hands up on your shins under your knees, straighten everything. And then exhale back down, knees bent. And one more time, just winding up. Bring the shoulders up, back, and down. And again, into mountain pose. Separate your feet and turn them out a little bit. Knees bending toward your toes, not beyond. Hands above your knees, just position. I'm going to do a little twist to bring the shoulder across toward that opposite knee. Hip goes out to the other side as you come across, and then just kind of circle the shoulder around while you're pulling it over there. And then come back to the center. Circle both shoulders, straighten the spine, relax. And bring the other shoulder over as you turn to the side, hip going out slightly in the other direction. And again, move that shoulder around also. And again, stretch your spine and turn back to the center. And tuck in your chin slightly as you roll over up. Shoulders releasing as you step back into the mountain pose. Take a moment to breathe. Hands to your heart. So keep the base of your skull stretching up, base of the spine stretching down as you look at your hands and bring them up toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your thumbs, lift your heart, stretch back, keep stretching through that base of your skull. Exhale, hands to your heart. Come it on over and hang them right down. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs, just gently and loose. And bend your knees all the way to the floor and into Child pose transition. Shoulders down, chin tucking in, forehead toward the floor, just relax. Move your shoulders as you're there, releasing any tension. And then inhale, sitting up, and just come into a, do a just a cross leg position so that we can work that neck and shoulder area a little bit more. So remember, creatures of habit, go ahead and switch your legs as we come into that position so that we get our non-habitual position, stretching things a little differently. Sitting bones behind you, shoulders down, and then pull them down some more, and stretch up through the base of the skull. Core activated, supporting your spine. Take a breath. Just sink into the sitting bones and relax. Feel where it's tight in your shoulders and your neck. Just let it relax. Now bring your chin into that little indentation at the base of your throat. And then roll your chin over to one shoulder. And then look up. And then turn your face all the way toward the ceiling, straight up. And then look over toward the other shoulder, bringing the chin toward that shoulder. And then roll it around down to the center. Same thing, over to the shoulder, up toward the ceiling, in toward the center, over toward the other side and shoulder, and roll it down to the center. 
Reverse, on the other way, over the shoulder, up toward the ceiling, looking to the center. Remember, you're still stretching out through that base of your skull, over to the side, rolling down into the center. And one more time, that same circle direction, over and up and around and across and down and back to the middle. And tip your chin up. Feel the circulation through that whole area. Shoulders relaxing down. Switch your legs around so that we balance things in that rest of the body also. Bring your arms out to the sides at shoulder level. Now remember, shoulder blades toward your waist, shoulders down away from your ears, and stretching out right at shoulder level. Bring the thumbs into your fists, gently curling your fingers around one fist up and one down. Turn them the other way. Keep pushing out through those fists as you rotate the fists one up and one down. And just keep doing that while you keep relaxing your shoulders. And then bring the lower arms along with the fists as you turn, feeling those elbows moving. And then move all the way up to the upper arms. And then really get the shoulders involved as you push the fist down, that shoulder comes up. And then the other way. And just back and forth, feeling it go all the way into that spine area. Rotating, lifting and releasing. Turning that whole arm as you push out through the fists. And then releasing those shoulders, just keep moving the arms. And then only the lower arms. And then just the fists. And then stretch your fingertips out, palms down. Shake out your arms and your shoulders. And come back into your seated position. And switch your legs again. Just let everything relax. Feel the shoulders a little bit more energized. And let's work the neck. So chin into the indentation at the base of your throat again. Feel the back of your neck stretch. And then bring your hands one at a time up. But remember, no pressure, just a little extra weight. Keep the elbows out toward the sides. Exhale, and just let that chin sink a little deeper into that throat center indentation. Keep stretching out through the base of your skull as you do that, lengthening that neck area. Just exhale. Let the weight of your hands do the work with gravity. Don't push. Just let it release. And then bring your hands back down. Tip your chin upright. Move your jaw around. Push it forward and back. And then keep reaching out through the base of your skull as you look up. So don't crunch the back of your neck as you do that. And then again, the weight of your hands onto your forehead. Elbows out to the sides. And just looking up, stretching back. Or active, supporting the rest of your spine. And then hands back down and chin back into neutral. Take a moment and we'll stretch those sides of the neck. So remember, you're going to keep both shoulders down and bring an ear over toward one side. Feel that stretch on the other side. Just let it happen. And then the side you're tipping toward, bring that hand up, add weight, not pressure, just a little extra stretch. Feel it, let it relax. And keep this other hand palm up in your lap. If you want a little extra stretch, you can put it palm down out to the side. 
and just give it a little extra push with that hand into the floor. Take a breath, keep both shoulders relaxed. Exhale, tension. Breathe with it, exhaling, releasing any tightness. Think about the head reaching away as you relax the body down. Take a breath. Let it relax. And then just release the hand that's down and the hand from your head. And then tip your head back upright. Feel the difference. Take a breath. Just relax. Oh, and switch your legs because, you know, we need to do that occasionally. So again, coming into that position, keep those shoulders down, back, and away from your ears. Keeping those shoulders down, that neck stretching out through the base of your skull as you bring the ear over to the opposite side. Again, relax the shoulders, relax the body, keep that core supporting your spine. The hand you're tipping toward, bring it up, just a little extra weight, releasing and relaxing through that stretch area. Hand palm up in your lap, or palm down at your side for a little extra stretch. Breathe into it. Exhale, let that whole shoulder area just release. Take a breath. Exhale, a little deeper, let it go. Remember, we're not forcing anything, we're just letting the stretch happen. Breathe, relax, allow it, letting gravity do the work. And then the arm that's down, just release it. And the one from your head, bring it back down, and tip your head back up. Feel what's going on through the sides of your neck. Take a moment to breathe. And then one more circle, bring your chin down, roll it over to the shoulder, all the way toward the ceiling, into the middle, over to the other side, rolling it down, and back to the center. Reversing, go over to the other shoulder, up toward the ceiling, into the middle, over to the side, and back slowly down, and so come all the way back to the middle. And take your chin back upright. Feel this area along the shoulders and the neck a little bit more activated and stimulated. Take a breath, just relax. Stretch the spine apart, moving only the chin, Turning only the neck look over to one side. Keep both shoulders, both hips facing the front. This is a neck twist only. Stretch it and turn. Stretch up, turn it back to the center. Bring your chin down and around in some circles. And then the other way. And then step to the center and stretch it apart again. Turn the chin to the opposite side. And again, keep stretching up and out, keeping those bones apart as you twist. No stress or strain it, just let it happen as much or as little as it wants to turn. Take a breath, stretch it up, and exhale back to the center. And again, bring your chin down. Circle it around twice, back to the center, and then go the other way. It's nice big circles with your chin. And back to the center. Take a moment and breathe. Just feel that upper body. And then come all the way onto your hands and knees, sliding your legs back. And your body all the way to the floor. We're head to the floor, hands extended overhead on the floor. We're gonna do a little cobra for the upper neck area. 
So bring the fingertips back to the heel of your palm and bring the hands closer to your body, still shoulder width apart, palms down to the floor. Inhale, bring your face toward the front, round toward the ceiling. Tuck your chin back toward your chest. And then pull your chest forward and up and your shoulders and shoulder blades down towards your waist. So you're getting a little bit of a back bend in that upper neck shoulder area. Round toward the ceiling, just gently. Ribs on the floor, feet hip width apart, lower body doing nothing. Take a breath. Chest forward, lift through the spine as much as you can. And then tuck your chin down toward your chest and slowly lower the forehead down toward the floor. And as it gets down, just relax. Bring those fingertips in one more time, hands closer to your body, elbows going out toward the sides. And again, starting with that forehead on the floor, relax through your lower body. Inhale, face forward, round up. Remember, tuck the chin back in so that back of the neck stretches. And then bring the chest forward and up a little bit more so that shoulder area is the focus of this back bend. Crown high, looking forward, chin slightly tucked toward your chest, not too much. Just kept let the back of the neck stretch. Shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist. Take a breath, exhale. Slowly focus all the way your head to the floor. As your forehead gets down, move those hands back out so that they're back at the first position. And we're going to do the upper neck area again. Inhale, face to the front, round toward the ceiling. Tuck the chin back toward your chest. Stretch out through the base of your skull. Move that chest slightly forward and up as you pull the shoulders and shoulder blades down the back of your body. Stretch out through the crown, just gently facing the front. Remember, not a lot of pressure in those hands and arms. They're just positioning so that that contraction hooks up into that neck area, just gently. Take a breath, exhale forward. Forehead back in. Put your hands under your shoulders, press back into child's pose. Hands at your side, palms up, forehead down toward the floor, taking that chin at the back of your neck, get a good stretch. Exhale, on your And inhale, sitting up, coming into stack position. Legs up to the front, pressing out through the heels, sitting bones behind you, shoulders down. Bring one leg in, heel near your hip, knees straight up to the ceiling, this other leg straight out. We're going to bring the, this is the right knee that's up. We're going to bring the right knee in this right elbow, right shoulder inside that knee and wrap your arm back around so the hand comes back towards your head. Take your other hand, stretch your spine. Take your other hand, bring it around. See if you can clasp, otherwise just hold your shirt close to the other one. And then straighten your body up, stretch your spine way apart. Exhale, pull the knee and shoulder into each other as you turn away from the knee. Take a breath. Exhale and relax. Now remember, only go as far as your body wants to go. Don't overdo that. Work through your shoulder. Let it relax as you do it. Take a breath. Deepening into that twist as much as you want. Letting that shoulder release as much as it wants with that knee and shoulder pulling together. And then bring the hand behind you back to shoulder level. Follow it around to the center, releasing your right arm and leg. Take a moment, feeling that side. We're going to do the other one. So bend your left knee, heeling close to your body, pull it in. This leg stays knee and toes up. Left arm comes inside that knee. Shoulder into the knee, wrap the arm back toward your hip. 
Take the other arm around and clasp if you can, otherwise just keep them close. Sitting on stand, stretch up and then let that hip you're leaning away from, turning away from, come up slightly as you turn to the side. So twisting, let the knee and shoulder pull each other into each other, letting that shoulder get a little bit of work going on to release any tension through that shoulder area as you turn into your twist as much or as little as your body needs. Remember, personal practice. Stretch up through the spine, exhale and relax. And then releasing your hand back to shoulder level, follow it back around to the center, releasing your other arm and your leg. Feel your shoulders, circle them around a couple of times, letting things release and back and forward and side to side. And then bring your feet to the end of the mat. I'm gonna roll all the way down. And into corpse position for our relaxation. Bring those shoulders way down to the mat. Feel that expansion across the front of your shoulders. Take a breath. Exhale, let it soften and relax through the shoulders, through the chest. Just releasing any tightness in that upper leg. Put your chin to your chest and roll it around in the circle. Going the other way as well. Up and down. Let that neck release. Let your upper body relax. And just let it grow heavy, sinking into that surface beneath you. Bring your toes toward each other slightly and then just let the lower body relax as well. Deep breath in, shoulders down, whole torso releasing into the legs. Exhale any tightness, any tension, just let it go. Breathe and breathe. Just allowing that full neck and shoulder area to sink even deeper into that surface beneath you. Move your jaw, circling, push it forward and back. Scrunch your face. Exhale. Let everything just relax. Sink into that first embrace. And let your body go. Just releasing thoughts of your body. Let thoughts in your mind to release as well. Allow them to drift in and out as easily as you want. Know that it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice what you pay attention to. At this moment, just let the thoughts drift. Sinking your body, loading your mind. No need to pay attention to the content of those thoughts. Let your body go. Let your thoughts go. Allow everything just to focus on that peace within. Fill your body with peace and your mind with peace. And just take a few moments to be in peace.
we have time to keep relaxing. You should us take as much time as you have. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just the way to run energy and awareness back to the moment. As you breathe more fully, begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. Stiffen your arms and your shoulders, moving your head side to side, just gently in the circles of ways. As you breathe more deeply, then stretch more completely, however it feels right for you. When you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting those towards your heels, pulls in towards your hips, and knees up towards your head. Tap your arms over you, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, however it feels right for you today. Bring these things, stretching through the shoulders as much as it needs to happen for you. And when you're ready to release, adding feet to the floor, pull over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you. Thanks for joining me.